The Spicer Universal Joint Lube Path begins at the grease zerk and ends at the bearing seals. This illustrates a typical 1710 universal joint being greased as installed in a vehicle. We have removed some needle bearings and replaced them with a clear window in this demonstration so we can observe the lubrication path around the positive purge valve. Notice all four bearing seals purge and all air and liquid contaminants are forced out prior to grease purging from the seals. The lube starts at the grease cirque totally filling the cavities inside the cross and PPV valve before entering the bearing cup. It then fills the trunnion grooves forcing lube to enter the needle bearings before filling the bearing cup. Next, the lube simultaneously fills the bearing cup around the needle bearings and cavity around the PPV valve. Notice the bearing seal purges air and liquid contaminants prior to purging grease from the seals. Also, note the small amount of air entrapped at the base of the PPV valve. This occurs because the lube passes through the PPV valve, reaches the bearing cup, and then is forced back around the outside of the PPV valve, entrapping air. On the left is the total amount of grease held in the lube path of a properly lubricated 1710 universal joint. On the right is the total amount of grease that the air displaced at the base of the PPV valve. As you can see, the amount of air entrapped at the base of the PPV valve cavity is insignificant. In situations where bearing cups must be removed, hydraulic effects of the grease can cause lube to be pulled out of the lube path during the removal of the bearing cups. This is why a universal joint must be re-lubricated after it is assembled into a vehicle. Re-lubrication and the purging of all four seals will force the air out of the lube path and ensure complete fill of the bearing cup. This is an illustration of greasing a universal joint with unequal seal pressures due to tolerance stackup in components. This can result in not all seals purging. In this case, two seals purged and two seals failed to purge. Notice the bearing seals that did not purge failed to get a complete fill of lube path. These voids can cause an insufficient lube condition and premature failure. This is why it is essential for all bearing seals to be purged. When one or more seals fail to purge, as demonstrated in this illustration, it becomes necessary to take steps to relieve tension at the seal area. You can begin by moving the drive shaft end from side to side while applying gun pressure. If the seal still fails to purge, loosen the cap screws on the bearing assembly plate of the affected seals and back the bearing assembly out of the yoke bore about 1 16th of an inch. Continue to apply gun pressure. If loosening the bearing assembly does not cause the seals to purge, remove the bearing assembly to determine the cause of blockage. After all four seals are purged, install new bolts and torque to specification. To ensure proper lubrication of a universal joint, be sure that the entire lube path from the zerk to the bearing seals is full. This can only be accomplished by purging all four bearing seals. For further information, see your Spicer representative or call the Spicer support line 1-800-666-8688.